Hi, it's Dogfox127, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today, we're going to be working on perk trees, how to add your own perks in, and different ranks to a perk, and link them all together. So, uh, to get started, you obviously want to open your Skyrim and update ESM file, or neither of them. If you're going to be uh, editing Dawn Guard and you know how to tweak the fix, then uh, just your Dawn Guard. So, we're going to be loading out Skyrim and update just for this one. I've already gone ahead and done that. So, once it's loaded, you want to go under Character and Actor Values and you get this wonderful menu here. Now uh, on here you obviously get uh, loads of different values for your actor and all sorts of spells and stuff and amongst this you'll see the odd ones with skill written under them and as you can see these skill ones are our general perk trees which we've got alteration, block, see conjuration there and as you can see when you click on them uh, you've got a description which again you, you, can, like, you can change that so you've got skill categories, so is it combat, magic, stealth? And you can also change all of the um the skill settings, so how much you rank up by, uh sort of the, the multipliers for uh, ranking up. All that information's on the uh Skyrim Creation Kit website, I'm not gonna go into it. Um so I'll leave that link in the description. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty basic here. Uh, all we want to really do is just, first of all, we'll take a look at the perk trees. So as you can see, you'll probably recognise it, being the Conjuration perk tree. Uh, as you can see, it looks a bit odd, and that's because it's upside down. It's actually sort of uh, laid out and written the opposite way to how you're going to see it on the game. So you'll have to sort of work with that. But the first thing you'll notice, obviously, is the arrows, which are linking them all together, which represent our lines on the actual screen. Um, that will light up when you go to the next perk and you can see all the individual perks and they're all quite nicely named by Bethesda and they're all in a a nice string there. Now what you can do with this perk tree is a number of different things. Uh, one thing you can do, you could completely rearrange it, you could unlink perks, link other perks together and just make it generally easier or even more difficult to uh, to use and rank up with. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is obviously it's numbered uh, 0, 25, 50, 75 and 100. That's sort of the uh, the different general skill ranks um, or skill number that you need. You know, uh, the rank that you need to be at for skills, I should say. Uh, so obviously the more difficult ones are at the bottom and the easy ones are at the top. So as I said, it's a bit topsy-turvy, upside down. So... Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do, if you're going to be creating a brand new perk, then you're going to need to make that perk. So we're just going to zip out of that menu for now. Just thought I'd show you that's where we'll actually be working with the uh, the perks and the ranking system. So where you want to go is just under Actor here. Click on Perk and you get a whole list of these perks here. Now that's a lot of perks. Now not all of these perks are actually related to the perk tree. Uh, some of them are just other related perks which go on to characters for other numerous things. So amongst this are actually all the uh, the perk tree ones. So what we'll see is for alchemy, we've actually got a number of alchemy ones here, for instance. Uh, there's about five of them there, and they're all numbered differently. Now, that's probably because they're all part of the same perk, but they're actually different ranks. So it's a bit confusing, but basically your all your perks are either an actual perk on its own, or if there's a number of them with numbers on the end, they tend to be uh, the different ranks of a single perk, so that should make sense in a moment. If we just open up Alchemy here, so this is the first of the Alchemy perks, uh, potions and poisons you make are 20% stronger, and as you can see what it says is the next perk here just goes up to Alchemist 20, and then if you were to go into Alchemist 20, it would say Alchemist 40 for the next perk, so as you can see they all link together in that sense. Now, uh, because there's five ranks to this, they've put the number 5 in the num ranks uh, section here so that's what you'd have to do if you were making a new perk and it has a certain amount of ranks then the amount of ranks you have to put in there and for each rank uh, so individual perk which is representing a rank for your perk you would have to put that same number in there uh, level usually uses 0 you don't really want to hide it keep it as playable and you don't need trait we're just going to be doing perks on the perk tree as you can see down here, perk entries, uh, this is where you can do value modifiers, so things go up by a certain percentage uh, because you've got to that next perk, you're on the other perk, that'll up it by more percentages. Uh, I'm not going to be going into that to do too much detail, I'm just going to be showing you how to put some nice new basic perks on. So 
you can mess with all that yourself uh, you can have it actually do modifiers or you can actually get rid of them and uh, just have the perk represent something else like uh, it being required to do something in the game so uh, scripts we don't need to be messing with today and those conditions um, I'm going to be going into conditions in a moment if we just go into one that uh, is actually going to require a specific condition let's go into let's go into the smithing section if we were to go to dwarven smithing then we all know to get to dwarven smithing you have to have some other perks to get there so just the arrows on the actual perk tree uh, won't be enough to sort of signify give me a moment as you see the arrows on the perk tree alone aren't enough to say that you need that perk to get to that perk to get to that perk we actually have to do a bit of um, condition setting here so as you can see to get dwarven smithing all it is is you do a little condition here that says has perk steel smithing so to get to the dwarven smithing here you need that steel smithing there so it's as simple as that so you just point this to the previous uh, perk that you needed uh, you can usually leave a comparison value that's already done for you when you right click and new and set it up uh, the other one is get base actor value you usually need a specific value in a perk to be able to actually unlock that next uh, perk so to get dwarven smithing you have to be at least skilled up to level 30 in your smithing so obviously you go in there the value is 30 and make sure that that's the correct symbol that you're using there so it says up to 30 or the same and again you can do certain modifiers uh, in this case that makes your tempering better for dwarven stuff uh, material uh, there's only one rank to dwarven smithing it's on its own so as you can see they put rank one and there isn't an next perk to that so uh, that's all that you'd have to do you have to basically go into each of your perks and point them back and forth to each other so what the next perk is or what perk you'd need to get to it so that'll make more sense if we just go ahead and add our very own new perk so what I'm going to show you just quickly with the tree is how to actually move about current perks that you've got in the list you can just uh, click the grey box in the middle hold it down and as you can see you can move it along the grid uh, you can also snap it to grid if you right click and snap to grid or alternate click I should say and it will put it to where it's lying over it will fit it in nicely usually you want to leave this quite loose and it looks a little better if you just put it where you want so I'm going to move arcane smithing over a bit and we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click new in the perks and we're going to make a new perk we're going to call this uh, we'll call it guild smithing and what we're going to do we're going to have this create we're going to put the name put guild smithing because I've only done the ID and what we're going to do, we're going to have this do allows the player whoops, to create any guild armors at the smithing forge. So, nice new interesting perk. Uh, we're going to have a, an advanced version to it, so I'm just going to show you how the ranking system works. So, I'm going to have two ranks to this perk. Uh, we're going to keep it how it is there next perk we're not going to set because we haven't made it yet so I'll come back to that conditions we're going to say say that you need to have steel smithing so we're going to put has perk then you click on there and you'd find steel smithing in the list and then the other thing that you might want is to have a certain level in smithing so uh, what is it get actor value get active value in smithing okay make sure you select that correct symbol there up to or equal to I think it's that one yeah yeah uh, higher than or equal to that's it so we're gonna say we're gonna say 30 same as the uh, the dwarven smithing was so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see what it says now we have to have it steel smithing and we have to have level 30 within smithing so uh, that's it we've got our two ranks listed okay so now you're gonna actually want the uh, the next rank to that so the good thing is to just to copy the one that you've just made and then just tweak it so if you type in guild and refind find it right click duplicate right click edit or alternate click uh, so allows player to create 
and we'll say advanced guild arms at the smithing forge as you can see it's kept the number ranks because we copied it but if that isn't the same as your other one you'd need to set it just going to rename this to advanced put that in advanced everything looks okay now this needs to change obviously because uh, it's not steel smithing that we need it's the perk before it which would be the first rank so you'd go in here and you'd go and find guild smithing okay okay and then you'll want we'll want this value to be a little higher so we'll say that you have to have 40 this time okay and then we're not going to mess with the next perk but what we do need to do is confirm that click no and then yes go back to your guild smithing and then just say the next perk is the one that you've just created so we need to go into um, guild smithing advanced okay so now we've got our two perks ready, our two ranks if you will, the uh, main perk and then the second rank to it, all we need to do is add them into the tree. So to do that, go back to your tree, right click or alternate click, add perk, uh, type in guild, so we're going to put our guild smithing in first because it's our first rank, and as you can see the first thing it does, it automatically uh, grid locks it and it's going to keep snapping into place. Now to stop this you want to alternate click unsnap to grid and we can now move it around freely which is what we really want to do now you can actually put it level with the correct sort of a uh, number on the left hand side here but you don't really need to uh, it's just for your own sort of guide really so we are going to actually do that we're going to put it in the middle of 25 and 50 because that's roughly where we're sitting and we're going to budget over just above the arcane smithing now just to help things out and actually have it look correct on the tree and represent things correctly uh, make sure you've got the symbol of the uh, the little hand here hold down your, your primary click and drag it over to your guildsmithing and now we've got a nice link between them so that arrow will actually show on your perk tree so you go ahead click OK uh, OK everything's good save your mod and now you've just added a brand new perk into the game and it'll be fully working go onto your tree and it'll show in there so as long as you've done everything correctly that'll be fully working uh, so what you'd actually want to do with the guildsmithing is uh, a little bit of uh, other stuff that you could do is you could actually go into being able to craft your own armor so if you were like crafting or tempering your own armor then you could say that this is going to require your new perk so all you'd have to do is do the same sort of thing has perk so if this was going to be a condition to something, so this is putting your perk into into we're working now with something. So you just select your guildsmithing like that. Okay. So that would be saying to be able to temper these shadow guild boots, you'd have to have this perk here, your very own perk. And that's how you'd link it up to it in that way. So you do all that, you save your mod, go in, and you should have a fully working perk added to the smithing perk tree or whichever one you've created you can be inventive and you can do a lot more ranks than two you can do as many as you like so uh, i hope that was really helpful thanks very much for watching please leave comments i do like my good and uh, bad feedback and i'll speak to you next time